Good afternoon, Toshmashes and honored guests. I, Toshmaster Guram Nitin, Sajid and Arms, welcomes you to the all to the meeting number 677 of Speech Weavers Toshmasters Club Bangalore. Toshmasters Club mission is to provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills, result in, in greater self-confidence and personal growth. Toastmasters have helped various people from diverse backgrounds to become more confident communicators and leaders. So to, to uphold the cardinal principles of every Toastmasters, I request you all to follow the following principles. Keep your microphone muted at all times ex except when you are invited to speak. Keep your video on at all times unless you are moving in and out of the room. As an encouragement to all the role takers and speakers, make sure to upload them generously virtually. Role takers and speakers will consciously re refrain from expressing their views on sex, politics, and religion to ensure the sentiments of the audience are not hurt. Today, our presiding officer will be Toshmaster Adarsh, who is the current vice president membership. Toshmaster Adarsh is the founder of, fin founder of Finances and the director of Deep Pockets Technologies. He likes working, creative writing, reading, analyzing football games, and exploring new ideas for a venture. He joined Toshmashes in March 2021 and has served as a prize president membership and is the immediate past vice president of education of Speech Weavers Toshmashes. Let us all invite our presiding officer, Toshmaster Adas Krishna, with a round of applause. Toshmaster Adas Krishna, over to you. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Nitin, for that enthralling intro. This is my first time ever playing the role of a presiding officer at any club, no matter what club it is on the face of this earth. I swear to God, I never once thought that I'd get this opportunity. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and invite all of you to the 677th meeting of the Speech Fever's Toastmasters Club. 677th meeting. meeting. Think about that for a second. Let that sink in. That's a lot of meetings. That is, and to make matters better, let me tell you that I've only been a part of speech fevers for the last one and a half years. And I don't think I've even attended 16 meetings at speech fevers. I've not even attended 16, and we have done 677 as part of this club. And none of that could have possibly happened without the participation of all the members and guests at this very club. So I'd like all of you to give yourselves a round of applause for what you've done, because that is truly sensational. I'd like to welcome all the guests and all the members within the club. We have Postmaster Varun, we have Anand. We have Anand joining us. Anand happens to be a guest that wanted to know about Postmaster. Yes, he's a newbie and I'd be happy to get in touch with you soon after the meeting is over to brief you on what Postmasters can do to you as a person. And we had a new member joining us. He is Postmaster Nelson. Nelson was part of our club previously. And we had to bring him back to the club. I had to push him myself over the call. And I'm really glad he has joined us once again. I'd like to welcome our timer for today's meeting, Deekshita, our, our DTM Yusuf Chandra. We have uh, evaluator, Preeti. We have evaluator number one, Madhavi. And we have Nitya, who's going to be a speaker for today's meeting. I'd like to welcome all of you to Speech Weavers Toastmasters Club. Those are players man learning happens. Now, to make matters better, we actually thought about taking this to another level. So this Sunday, we have an interesting event. Yes, there's an announcement for all of you from within uh, this meeting. We have an upcoming, uh, we have an upcoming uh, special event this Sunday called the Open Mic. Yes, you might be wondering what it is exactly, right? Of course, I've already put out a few invites on the WhatsApp group, so some of you must be aware, but for those who are not aware, an open mic is an event that we are going to engage prospects, prospective members, current members of the Toastmasters International with a few special segments. One of which that we have is called Table Topics, which all of you are very much aware of. And aside from Table Topics, we also have something planned along the lines of the value of Toastmasters. Yes, that the session that will be delivered by our division director, DDM Saurabh Data. And to make matters even better, we have another special segment called the Toastmasters Got Talent. Yes, Toastmasters Got Talent is slightly different from America's Got Talent, but except it will be done with the best. We'll have Toastmasters and guests. And this is one area 
of the session where all of us can come in and present anything that we feel that we are talented at. All you have to do is quickly dive your attention to the chat box. Yes, dive your attention to the chat box because I'm going to type something. Yes, what you just see, yeah. What you'll find is a registration link to that special event that we have this Sunday at 11 o'clock in the morning. It will be from 11 o'clock to 12.30. And as soon as you register, I'll go ahead and send over the link to you to attend that meeting. All of you are welcome. You're also bringing your friends and everybody that you can possibly think of. Now that's enough of that. Let's move to the next stage of today's meeting. And the theme for today's meeting is called Twist with Toastmasters. Yes. And that will be presented by our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Bidu. He happens to be a business manager at Bajan Bhutia Football School. He loves outdoor activities, including sport and marathon. And one of the things that he also finds very interesting is a sport called parkour, which he doesn't really talk about these days. I don't know why exactly. <laughs> he has eyes running in his veins. He is our vice president of education. He was the past vice president of public relations. He is Toastmaster Bidu. And on Fridays, he happens to have a twist with Toastmasters. Toastmaster Bidu, the stage is yours. You're the TMO lead for this meeting. Thank you, presiding officer, Toastmasters others. Night rise with Toastmasters or twist with Toastmasters. We don't have a grammarian today. And that's what happens when you don't have a grammar. We don't know how to pronounce Christ or Trist. But does this sentence bring any recall value for anyone? Has anyone heard something along the sentence, Christ with those masters? Our uh, first prime minister's address, Trist with destiny. Yes. That's exactly the sentence which captured me. Now, why this theme? Yes, it is very easy. I have come under the influence of Independence Day and Christ with Destiny was an English language speech delivered by our first Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru to the Indian Constituent Assembly in the Parliament on the eve of India's independence on the midnight of 14th August 1947. But I do resonate with something that Toastmasters and rather specifically speech weavers has an effect on me as does the independence on India. When India got its independence after being under the rule for over 100 years, the immediate goal was to develop a roadmap. A roadmap for proper governance that would take care of the bare necessities like food, housing, and jobs for 100 crore people. India had also needed to create a structure where aspirational people can dream, work, and fulfill their aspirations. Aspiration. This is something why we all, including me, have been a part of those masters over the years. I remember vividly how I joined Toastmasters. I got my first job and I was working out of Bangalore. And one of the crucial skills in my job description was communication and storytelling. The reason being I was working in a startup. We had to tell our customers and our investors about our company and the product that we are building. While interacting with across managerial levels, I had to pass on information like product goals, print details, and also give feedback without being too critical. Toastmasters provided me that learning school. I, I joined to improve my communication skills, but later realized this platform actually is meant to bring out your full potential, be it public speaking, leadership traits, networking, event organization, or PR. Just I'm naming a few. In my years with Speech Weavers, I have not only ended two successful terms, but also had the privilege to serve my club as a VP PR in the last time and currently I'm serving as a VP Education. I know for sure many of you have joined this meeting today and been a part of Toastmasters because of the learnings that you get from your respective clubs. So let's hear some story from, from you guys. We have Toastmasters Preeti joining from Gabby to Gabby's Toastmasters Club. Let's hear from Toastmasters Preeti about her tries with Toastmasters. Toastmasters Preeti, over to you. Yeah, hi. Uh, hi and good evening to everybody. So my journey with Toastmasters was uh, actually to say it was unplanned. So I wanted to be a part of Toastmasters during my corporate world. So I come from a corporate world. I have like 15, 16 years experience. I always wanted to be a part of it. But since the workload or whatever it was, I couldn't take it up. And it's only in during COVID is when uh, we as image consultants, we have a group of image consultants. So we decided that let's 
take up toastmasters and you know work on our communication skills and public speaking because that was we knew that the pandemic is going to be for a long time so we thought why not utilize this period by probably doing the learning on ourselves and improving our skills and that is how we few now i think 10 of them as a charter we started this group called the gabbies and that's been the journey from two years and that's how i have been a part of uh, the toastmasters and i have i i would say that i have finished my one pathway and i'm on the completion of my second i've just started with my second pathway and the journey has been amazing there's a lot of uh, you know confidence this, uh, as we have a lot of timers and grammarians so you know there's a lot of improvement definitely as a person and there's a lot of confidence which is improved the communication has increased and the public speaking definitely has increased uh, long term so thank you so much for the toastmasters clubs and and look forward to be associated with this for a long thank you so much thank you toastmaster priti something that you mentioned along the lines of covid is something which resonates with me when i moved out of bangalore i had lost touch with toastmasters and during the pandemic when we moved on to the hybrid con meeting concept uh, people from toastmasters or specialist club reached out to me especially toastmaster deepa and toastmaster shrinu babu and that's how i'm again back with specialists and actually i'm enjoying my stint uh, here so with this wonderful story i would like to focus on today's meeting i would like to proceed by thanking all the guests who our presiding officer has already mentioned thank you for joining us on a wonderful friday evening and for the benefit of the guests like anand who is a little bit new to toastmasters i would like to tell that toastmasters is an international organization which was founded in 1924 now it has been over 100 years that the toastmasters club is existing it is spread across 145 countries and it has almost 3 lakh 63 lakh 65000 members we belong to district 92 and our club is specialists who has majority coming from bangalore and because of the pandemic people from outside like me are also been a part of this club now every club meeting has three sections the first one is a prepared speech section where each member comes up with a prepared speech based on the level and the project he or she is attempting the second session is a table topic session where we exercise impromptu speeches and the final one is the general evaluation section where every role taker is evaluated by a round of evaluators so let me begin by introducing our general evaluator for today's meeting i would like to bring up on stage toastmasters mayur who is the general evaluator today requesting general evaluator toastmasters mayur to inform us about the evaluation and the evaluators over to you thank you so much toastmaster of the day bidu for inviting me and giving me the general evaluator role <coughs> good evening fellow toastmaster and guest so today as a general evaluator of the meeting i am i have already started evaluating meeting when it started okay so what i will do is uh, i will evaluate each and every role takers who are taking various roles and the structure will be like uh, first i Uh, i will i would like to invite our tag team role takers then when the speech and table topic gets over i will be inviting our evaluators to complete their evaluation then i will invite toastmaster uh, so first tag team will give their, their uh, for, sorry first tag team will give sorry again <laughs> first evaluators will give their their evaluation then tag team will give their their evaluation after that i will give my evaluation and this is how we will learn i hope in the last meeting whoever was the general evaluator gave some inputs i hope those will be implemented today so we could avoid those um, mistakes today in, in the meeting and i will be also giving some inputs in the end so all the best to all the role takers over to you toastmaster of the day Generally, evaluated osmosis mayor, can you just oh, introduce timer? Yeah, so I yeah. forgot. <laughs> I made a mistake. Sorry, it's been a long time. So first, I would like to invite uh, our tag teams. So they will give their uh, introduction about the roles and what they are going to do to brief about the roles. First, I would like to invite our timer for the day, Toastmaster Dikshita, to give the role description. Over to you, Dikshita. Thank you, Toastmaster Mayur. So I am Dikshita, and I am from Tivo Talksters Toastmasters Club. 
So for today's meeting, I'll be the timer. As a timer, my duty is to time prepared speeches, table topics, and speech evaluations. This will help speakers practice expressing themselves within a specific time allotted. So today we are having one L1P3 speech, one L1P2, and one L4P1 speech. And the time allotted for all the speeches is five to seven minutes. So I'll be displaying a green card at the end of five minutes, yellow card at the end of six minutes, and the red card at the end of seven minutes. Each speaker has grace a period of 30 seconds after the red card is displayed to end the speech and to qualify for the vote. Uh, same for the table topics, the time allotted is one to two minutes. So I'll be displaying a green card at the end of one minute, yellow card at the end of one minute, 30 seconds, and red card at the end of two minutes. And even in table topics, uh, speaker, each speaker is given 30 seconds of grace period. And for the evaluations, the time allotted is two to three minutes. I'll be showing green card at the end of two minutes, yellow card at the end of two minutes, 30 seconds, and red card at the end of three minutes. So yeah, even evaluations have 30 seconds of grace time after the red card is shown. I'll be reporting the uh, my I'll be reporting my uh, details when called upon by the general evaluator at the end. Uh, over to you, Mayur. Thank you so much, Dikshita, for the brief introduction about the role. Now I would like to invite our our counter for the day, Toastmaster Nelson, to give the role description to the every member. Over to you, Nelson. Good evening, uh, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Uh, today I am the odd counter. Today I am going to monitor the stretch uh, um, uh, words and stretch um, words and um, like a, uh, uh, er, and also um, some pauses. Also I monitor. And end of the meeting I will give the report to that uh, our. Uh, You, uh, you later. Yes. Over to the uh, Thank you Sorry, so much. Uh, <laughs> thank you day. so much, uh, Nelson, for giving the introduction. So this is what happened when me and Nelson were joined after a long time. So we fumbled a lot and we forgot our duties, what we have to do, right? So you have to be regular if you want to improve things. And that's how you can uh, work on your skills. So the uh, what uh, Nelson supposed to uh, Nelson will be doing is he will be evaluating you on your CRPF, which is nothing but crutch word, repetitive words, pauses, and fillers. Okay, and uh, so we don't have any grammarian today. So anyone would like to volunteer for the role on the floor right now? That would be a good opportunity to them as well as as well for me as anyone would like to take up the grammarian role. Okay, not an issue. Thank you. With that, I would like to hand over back to our Toastmaster of the day to run the show. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, General Evaluator Toastmaster Smayu. Before we move on to the prepared speeches, I need to confess something. I have been reading a few topics regarding public speaking because obviously I want to improve my public speaking and speaking skills in Toastmasters and outside of Toastmasters. But one common point that I have read across various genres, various topics talking about public speaking is humor breaks the ice in a meeting room. Does this work? Do you believe humor can actually break ice in a meeting room? Can you raise your hand and show me who all believe this theory that humor can actually bring or break ice among people? Yes. Okay, good. So, because you all want a little bit of humor, I would like to invite our joke masters, joke master, Toastmaster Joseph to test this theory if humor can actually break ice in this meeting. Over to you, joke master, Toastmaster Joseph. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen.
am i audible good evening and ladies and gentlemen a couple who had just moved into a new neighborhood one just sir could you speak, uh, speak with only one mic you are having two mics on could you mute okay now one mic or host could you mute one of his mic yes i have done yeah joseph sir you can go on no i think he has to unmute himself right now can you unmute yourself am i audible yes good a couple who had just moved to a new neighborhood this is from the reader digest i am doing it you had a breakfast the wife looked through the window and found out that the neighbor was hanging a washed clothes on a cloth line is she commented looking at the laundry the laundry is not very clean she said her husband looked at but remained silent she go on repeating this as and when the neighbor was hanging the clothes the wife made the same comment so one morning the wife surprised to see the clean clothes look she said to her husband our neighbor finally learned how to do a good laundry no the husband said i got up early this morning and cleaned the window glass now the second one is about the school children in a catholic elementary school lined up for a lunch at the first tray were a large tray of apple on which one of the nun had posted this note take only one god is watching at the end of the table there was a large tray of cookie on which one of the children had posted the note take all you want god is watching the apple one of the guys grandfather clock stopped working he called the repair shop to get it fixed but they wanted 50 dollars to come and get it he said i will bring it to you so he strapped the clock to his back and started walking down the big hill he lived halfway down he slipped and he slid down the hill into a town just as a lady was crossing the street he barreled into her and knocked her down dazed and disgruntled and still on the ground she asked why can't you just wear a wrist watch like everyone else over to you to smart of the day thank you so much toast masters joseph sir so moving on to the first speaker for today when i asked him his twist with toast masters yes it is twist when joke master was telling us about the joke i just google searched about the right pronunciation for the word and it is called twist so our first speaker mentioned he joined toast masters to meet elite people in whose company he can rejoice his happiness he believes it is also a platform for learning more and more and also competing with others in every activity that the club offers he is enjoying and evading his loneliness by keeping himself occupied in his toast masters club he is also the associate area director of b1 area i would like to invite the evaluator for the target speaker toastmaster madhavi to read out the project guidelines over to you toastmaster madhavi uh, good evening everyone sorry i'm be i'm unable to switch on my camera uh, so the 
let me give my introduction first. So basically, um, yeah. So I am from Mount Carmel College Toastmasters Club, and uh, it's been a year at Toastmasters. Yeah, and it's a great journey as of uh, till now, and I'm really enjoying it. So coming back to the speaker. So the purpose of this project is to learn or review basic methods for writing a speech with a defined purpose and to present a well-organized speech on any topic. All the best to the speaker. Back to the TMOD. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Madhvi. Inviting Toastmaster Joseph on the topic, the master plan. The master plan, Toastmaster Joseph, over to you. Am I audible now? Yes. Okay. 1973, I was a junior engineer in BWD working for Nagarjuna Soccer Project. At the same time, there was also a retrenchment. I just married about a year ago. This is a retrenchment. But again, there was a reinstatement. Luckily, this organization has given me a chance for working in the rural engineering survey for the development, and that is what called the master plan. It so happened that we have been shifted from the city to the rural area. Somehow I got a place and I brought my wife together and staying in a small village. It's a block development village. During those times, we have been asked to go for a training also in wood. This is the conservation of water and soil training. I took my wife to OT also and we were together for a month and so on. And it was like a honeymoon visit because in those days we were not allowed to go outside for honeymoon. So we have taken a chance and we were back again after one month on our duty. I have to select few villages which was very well backward class and then start doing my own survey. Each has a group of agriculture officers and engineers. So the head of the group is a engineer. I have taken up a village, which is very close to the, uh, my area where I was staying. And I asked for some workers to join us for helping in the survey. I have made a topographical survey, uh, completely socioeconomic survey, the population assessment, then again, the infrastructure development, and irrigation problem, problems, if there is any, and drinking water supplies, and electrification of the village, or so on and so on. On this basis, I have surveys and come to a conclusion that the village has a 2,000 people as a population. So generally, there, there is an education requirement. So I have proposed a small primary school, and then, with the future development for a high school. Then I again suggested for artisan wells to supply drinking water supply. I proposed for a well-constructed road, dust-free road for interior traffic, as well as to connect the main road or the highway so that they can be a bus commuter coming from the village to the any part of the other area. Also a marketing facility for the produce that the village has been producing. Also the animal welfare. They have to have what is known as the cattle and sheep and so on and so forth. So the source of milk supply can be arranged for the, from this village to elsewhere. Also the tanning industry I propose because of the vast amount of animals are being available in that village. Finally, I said the village was having what is known as a uh, lamp, 
kerosene lamp actually and in the, in the middle of the village. So I suggested for what is known electric supply, which is very short distance from the main supply of the line. All these proposals I have made. I made a plan, <clears throat> plotted everything, agriculture, and also what are the betterment for the irrigation tank to be done out and all those things. And I plotted everything. It so happened that as my wife was with me, she also joined in doing some of the engineering work in my drawing and we completed it and submitted to the officer. So like that, I have completed around five villages. This has been sent to the central government for sanction. During those days, the authorities to be sanctioned is, it has to go to the chief engineer. If there is anything to be discussed, they will discuss, otherwise it will go. It so happened, I have completed. Then I joined again back to the PWD as a design engineer. During one of those days, I found the local paper was announcing about the master plan, which I planned and submitted has been executed. It was a great joy for me because the master plan is one of the major requirements of a village which has been considered in all 360 degrees of its requirement. So that was a very happy news. I read it. What I find was that input, which was also shared by my wife, was a wonderful way of presentation. That was my one very happy moment of my life where my wife joined in plotting, coloring, and everything made a fine. It was a very happy day. Such, what are their, my message is that today's village, if you see, these villages in Andhra Pradesh actually, where I was first working in it, it was for the betterment of the village people and their life was aspired with every detail that I have mentioned. That was one of the wonderful messages I got it from the local newspaper as well as the Hindu paper. So in this way, we can improve our villages by taking a master plan in all the schemes, wherever there is the backward villages are developed so that one day, because the villages a more important source of production, agriculture, and other things to the main city. So this is what finally I suggest that government should take up these schemes, every village, so that the whole of India can be developed in this order. Over to you, Toastmaster of the Day. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Joseph, sir. Now, let's move on to our speaker number two. But before we move on to speaker number two, we need to briefly understand her twist with Toastmasters. Our speaker two has joined us from Ripless Toastmasters Club. When probed about her reason for joining Toastmasters, she mentions she wants to speak briefly and with clarity. She also wants to overcome the anxiety when speaking at a meeting with superiors. Speaker two, I must say, speaking at a meeting with superiors is something I am still getting used to even after four years in job. But before we hear our, your speech, I need to invite your evaluator, Toastmaster Deepa. Her journey in Toastmasters is a bit different from some of majority of our journey. Toastmaster Deepa was into public speaking before Toastmasters. But she specifically wanted to study public speaking systematically. She was attracted to the non-profit nature of the organization and the international appeal of Toastmasters. Toastmaster Deepa, inviting you on the stage to read out the project guidelines of your target speaker. Yes, thank you, Bidu. Uh, our second speaker is attempting her level one project three. Uh, and uh, the, she has already given a speech and she has received feedback for that particular speech. And today's speech is going to be uh, about whether she has applied the feedback or not. So I will be uh, observing whether she has applied the feedback from the previous speech or not. Timer, please note, time is five to seven minutes. Thank you, Toastmaster Deepa. Inviting Toastmaster Nitya, happiness at work. Happiness at work, Toastmaster Nitya. 
choose a job that you love and you will never have to work a day in your life these are words from the famous philosopher confucius i agree but how many of us actually can choose a job that we love handful of us maybe so what can we do about it we can try to be happy with what we have while working for what we want good evening fellow toastmasters and my dear guests i want all of you to imagine a small scene here there are two co-workers joe and mac and it's another regular day at work now imagine a happy and cool joe on my left and a not so happy rather sad mac on my right now joe he loves the work he does whereas mac is cynical of his work joe he likes the people he works with whereas mac is indifferent to his co-workers joe is more expressive he exudes joy he goes the extra mile to finish his work on the other hand mac he does as much as he is told to in work is arrogant disconnected quiet and grumpy noticed any difference between the two a minor yet significant difference is that joe he works out of love and not compulsion we can easily picture in our minds so many such joes and mags that we might have seen at our workplace these are some traits of happy workers and not so happy workers at workplace isn't it but friends being happy is the first step towards anything that you want to do successfully in life in our average life span of 70 years we spend almost 40 years working 40 years that's almost all of our adult life don't we deserve to enjoy it of course we do now how many of you believe that happiness at work actually matters show of hands please most of us right in fact studies show that for 70 to 80% of the people work is to be endured and not enjoyed we toil all day long to come back home and find the right work life balance with the assumption that work is all about stress and the rest of our life is where we derive and seek happiness well that's not true whether we are happy or not happy at work it directly impacts our mind peace of mind health family life and our very existence but wait before you start picturing yourself as the happy and cool joe let us also understand certain myths of happiness at work myth 1 Happiness is about being ecstatic all day. Not at all. Happiness at work does not mean that you have to run around joyfully all the time. You can be sitting quietly at your desk and finishing your work and being discreetly happy. Myth two: Happiness is eternal. Again, no. No matter how much you love your job, there will be bad days. Joe also has bad days, and it's okay to have bad days. Myth three: Happiness is omnipresent. Absolutely not. It's impossible to find a job where every aspect of the job makes you happy. There will be some boring task to do, a nosy colleague, or a difficult manager to deal with. So happiness at work does not mean eliminating all the bad things in your job. it simply means to be happy despite all these things now with all this knowledge how do we strive to be happy at work each of us can have our own mantra for it there can be thousand possible ways in which we could be happy at work but i feel the following four key things will certainly help us in becoming happier what are they one 
decluttering your workspace. A cluttered desk is a cluttered mind. So be it your desk at work or at home, decluttering the space directly gives a signal to your brain that things are in order, things are sorted, and we can now focus on our work. Two, to maintain a to-do list. If you want to feel in control, take two minutes to write down a to-do list. Jotting things down and ticking them off as and when they're complete gives you an amazing sense of high. Three, to do one task at a time. Research show that multitasking not only slows us down, but it also reduces one's IQ. Checking your phone every five minutes while doing a 15 minutes job is also multitasking and it can drain you down. Last, but the most important is to value yourself. Nothing can bring us peace but ourselves. We can feel easily overwhelmed by a nasty manager, over-efficient colleagues, lack of appreciation, but we must remember that we all bring a unique skill to the table and the firm values us for that unique skill. In summary, these are not tools or tips that are taken out of some self-help books, but these are tried and tested by many. Even I follow some of these and using these techniques has helped me to be more productive, more energetic and charged in my work. And all of these little things put together is what happiness at work means. Out of all the goals that we want to achieve in life, friends, happiness is usually the greatest, but the most elusive. Joe, he has less bad days, lesser stress, less medical problems, good work-life balance, good family life, good colleagues. Wow, that's so much to be envious about, isn't it? Don't we all want to be the happy and cool Joe? Of course we do. Hence, we not only need to work happily, but we also need to work at being happy. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Nitya. I was actually noting down which of the points can I actually work upon. I cannot eliminate the boss because he is not actually that bad. The quality of work is very good for me. And I actually jotted down that I have to declutter my workspace, which I probably would do the next week. I have a good two days holiday to think about which are the things that I can declutter. And probably it can bring a little bit more happiness in my work life as it is now. But moving on from our speaker two to our speaker three. Sometimes I wonder what it takes to come last, the last person to give a speech. Does the butterfly in the stomach die down because you are more calmer or it does increase after you have listened to some of the most amazing speeches. Well, this is not for me to figure out today, but for the person who is coming in, coming in as speaker three. But, be, but before we hear from our third speaker, may I call upon the evaluator, Toastmaster Preeti, to read out the project guidelines. Toastmaster Preeti, over to you. Do one minute, as I have to evaluate Preeti as well, so let me read her evaluation sheet, right? Sure, go ahead. Hello. Yes, my you can go ahead. Yeah. So the purpose of um, the member of this speech or evaluation is for the member to del deliver constructive or on another member speech. So I will be evaluating her evaluation and I um, before she um, give her evaluation, I will be giving her evaluation as well. Over to you, Toastmaster Bidu. All right, now may I call upon Toastmaster Preeti to read out the guidelines of the target speaker. Yeah, thank you so much, Toastmaster Bidu. Uh, so my speaker is attempting his level four P1 speech and his pathway is leadership development. Uh, the timing would be five to seven minutes. And the purpose of this speech is for the member to share some aspects of his or her experience leading a team. So it's not about a report on the content, but I would be looking for some of the aspects of the experience of the teams. Okay, so over to you, Climbing Up the Ladder is the title. Over to you, speaker, and all the best to my speaker. Thank you so much. Inviting the 
inviting the target speaker toastmasters others climbing the climbing up the ladder toastmaster others good evening a uh, toastmasters toastmasters and guests and my friends i have an important question for all of you in this room right now how many of you would feel really nervous if i told you that you have to manage an event tomorrow that's right how many of you would feel very nervous if you had if i told you you have to manage an event tomorrow by show of hands real quick yes i see nitya there it's quite clear that all of us would feel very nervous yes i see deepa's hand as well i see dikshita's hand i see everybody and i can tell you for a fact that managing an event is not easy and it was not any different for me because it was not a long time ago when i had to manage my first ever event it was a work related event that i had to unveil my product to all of my investors all investors that were given to me by my mother who happens to be an entrepreneur herself she wanted to go into a new venture so she gave the business to me and this was a major challenge for me i had to face all the massive investors and i had to present this to them and always remember that i'm in this line of work where i'm a financial advisor and in this profession it's important for me to provide assurance and create an atmosphere of trust for all the clients and i cannot do that without creating an amazing first impression and that is what i was tasked with doing and it was not just me but i had a team along with me and there were a few challenges that we had to overcome along the way because before the event it became very apparent or very clear that none of my team members had ever organized an event before and let me remind you that yeah they had an average age of around 27 and none of them had ever ever organized an event before in their entire lives but we sat down we worked together we put together the agenda it took us it was probably two weeks before the event when we sat down and prepared the agenda and we thought to ourselves that this event has to be special it has to be different from the usual it has to be one of those uh events that there's a level of formality as well as a level of informality when i say informality i mean i wish to create we want to create this atmosphere of friendship we want to see to it that people felt comfortable and we couldn't do it without musical performance so we want to have a musical performance and that was the first thing on the agenda and we had to have the presentation that i am being the product to all the investors and i had to have this amazing session that we have a stand up comedian to engage the audience and then we wanted to have a contest that's why we want to have a contest a quiz for all the investors so that they feel a level of engagement and last but not the least we want to take the time to honor some female heroes and as a female heroes i mean medical professionals social workers and many people that have worked extremely hard in the last two and a half years during the course of the pandemic to help the society and this was the agenda that we had planned but unfortunately for us we didn't start preparing for the event until a day before the event itself that's why right. we didn't rehearse even once until a day before the event and that was not a long time so what we did was we actually started preparing on the day of the event itself on the day of the event the event was supposed to start at 6 pm in the evening we started planning we started working together we were in a conference room and we had scripts in our hands at 11 am in the morning and all of them were feeling very nervous they were feeling so nervous that we were still putting everything together and here comes the worst part we were late to the venue yes we were so preoccupied with the rehearsal that we were so late to the venue we reached around 15 minutes before the event was supposed to start and as you all know it's important for one to prepare for an event in advance so you have to be there 45 minutes in advance or even one hour in advance so that you can set everything up and remember for a fact that this was supposed to be a hybrid meeting non offline event non online event a combination of both online and offline all at once and we had to set everything up and after we reached that all of us were panicking one of my team members by the name guru had to step up and he had to set up the hybrid setup he had to uh, put together he had to uh, start the projector he had to connect the laptop to the monitor he had to do a lot of things there was just so much work and swapna and mala who were two of my other team members had to welcome all the clients outside and one of them had to call the clients to see whether they were coming and that person was a lady by the name deepa and remember deepa had a lot of work to do she had so much work she had to compare the event that's right she had to be the one to introduce everybody she had to be the one to 
create an atmosphere for people to love. And by the time we started the event, we were 30 minutes late, but we still went on. We still went on. Deepa stepped up. She had a script in her hand. And let me remind you that Deepa was actually looking at her script and not the audience. She was looking at her script the entire time because she felt very nervous. But she still went ahead. She stumbled a bit, but she still went ahead and happened to introduce our musical performers. And let me remind you that the musical performance was a big success. It was a massive success. It was very melodious that all of them were reading about it even after the event. And then came my product in Mailing. I did a wonderful job, at least from what I remember. And then we had a segment where we had to honor those female heroes that I spoke about. So we made a few videos, we had made a few compilations and we had to play that in front of all of them. And unfortunately for us, those compilations were not edited properly. That's right, they were not edited properly and there were a few typos in the video and it was Deepa that had to work on those videos. And it was quite clear that during the course of the event, Deepa felt distraught. She had her hands on her hands, she had her hands on her face and she went, oh no, what is going on exactly? She was so disappointed with what was going on with the videos, but we still went ahead and we somehow managed to finish that session. And by the time all of that was done, I checked my watch and I realized that we had no time for the contest. So we had to scrap the contest and we skipped to the part that we honored those female heroes and we concluded the event right there. And that was the end of it. We went over time by at least 30 to 45 minutes and the entire situation was chaotic in nature. But Funny enough, after the meeting was over, all I saw was smiles. I saw all the investors with smiles on their faces because they had just seen something different. They had seen something different. They had seen a team as young as a team with an average age of 27 percent something. And after the event was over, Deepa, as I said, was distraught and she was lying in a chair and she felt very uncomfortable. And she apologized to me. She apologized to the team. She apologized to everybody. And at that time, I had to step up as a leader. It was my first day of leadership and I had to step up and I had to be the leader that I was supposed to be. So I went ahead and showed them all those happy faces because all the investors were eating their lunch in the buffet area and they all were smiling and they were all applauding us. They were congratulating us. I don't remember the number of times I shook hands with people that day. And that is exactly what happened. Yes, there are many areas for us to improve, yes. There's a famous saying that goes, by preparing to, by failing to prepare, you're preparing to fail. Yes, we didn't prepare enough and we sort of failed, but at the same time, we didn't stop. And always remember that it's important for one to push themselves, to climb the ladder. If you don't push yourself to climb the ladder, then you never see what's there at the end of it. As I said, there are areas for us to improve on. Personally, for me, I have to improve on communication. I have to learn to prepare earlier. I have to deal with contingencies. I have to motivate people a bit more. And I have to make my team feel right at home. But all of this cannot happen if you don't take the first step of climbing the ladder. And climbing the ladder is a statement that I happened to come across the other day. And I felt it was very impactful because if you don't even attempt to climb the ladder, you cannot push yourself to climb the ladder, then you're bound to fail. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster with me. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Adarsh. Toastmaster Joseph, sir, Toastmaster Snitya, and Toastmaster Adarsh. You know, after listening to all your speeches, I got an idea that I can give for the next meeting as a speech. The speech will be called a master plan to climb up the ladder and be happy at work. You know, in the pantheon of all bad jokes, this will definitely be the number one. Sorry, and that's why I'm not the joke master today. Now with this, we complete the prepared speech segment. And now we are moving on to the second segment of the meeting, which is called the table topics. And to take us through that, I invite myself back on stage because I am also doubling up as a table topic master. I'm excited to host all of you into this most interesting segment of Toastmasters meeting. For the benefit of guests, I would reiterate the intended use of this section is to encourage speakers to develop the ability to organize their thoughts and to respond to impromptu topics. So I definitely encourage the guests to take up these topics that I'm going to hand over to you. Today, we are sandwiched between two important festivities. One is Raksha Bandhan, which just got over and the Independence Day, which is coming. 
for the movie goers the theaters are saying this loud we have raksha bandhan a story of a brother looking to marry off their sisters and lal singh chadha an adaptation of forest gum taking us through some of the historic events of india in the last 25 years to the lens of the character amir khan well i'm certainly not paid to promote this films but why do i endorse them here well one of the reasons is that i am a cinephile and the other is in my table topics i would revolve the topics around the theme of movies and festivals so let me see who is interested to go first let me so so me a raise of hands who wants to go and attempt the table topics or else i'll just invite someone onto the stage let I'm... me try yes you sir yes so first of all welcome to speech viewers so i'll give you a hypothetical situation which has no resemblance to your current equation and the situation is if you had a chance to have an elder brother or play part of the elder sister which one will you prefer i repeat if you had the chance to have an elder brother or be a elder sister to your younger brother which one will you prefer i didn't catch the last one i i i i have put them okay. in the chat box if you had a chance to have an elder brother or play the part of an elder sister which one will you prefer thank you very much i would love to be the elder brother ladies and gentlemen all my life i've been searching for playing as an elder brother so i can point out i can ask my brother and sister to do whatever i want because i am the youngest boy in the family so all my life i've been asked i've been ordered by my sister and brother i'm dreaming of it i told myself oh god if i can be an elder brother just once in a while and i could feel how happy i am asking my little brother to do whatever i want to do believe it or not it never happens of course because i am the youngest i'm always the youngest all my life even until now i am older now but i'm still the youngest i cannot say no to my brother or sister they said listen little brother but i am not little anymore i'm older now but still ladies and gentlemen to them i'm a little brother so to repeat that question i would prefer to be an elder brother rather than a younger brother thank you very much back to you thank you so much yusuf for trying this out now i would like to invite guest anand if you want to come on stage please put put on your video sure so the topic for you is if you had to rewatch a patriotic movie or recommend a patriotic movie to someone this independence day which one it will be and why hmm. uh patriotism has always been a very uh interesting topic for a lot of us uh and in this 75th anniversary one of the movies that i would recommend that everyone watch would be uh, rangade basundi uh the primary reason being it shows about how the new generation of india thinks uh, how they want to go beyond uh, whatever ha has been handed over by the colonial powers that be and still be a trying to fight the system and the movie is relevant at this year as well so that would be my recommended watch <laughs> thank you you have a little bit of time so you can explain what you liked about the movie if you uh, can recollect some of the best scenes or best moment in that movie that really motivated you uh so uh, one of the best scenes would be uh, 
the friendship that is shown in the movie uh, how all of us are still fighting uh, over the ills uh, that has been carried over through generations and how the youngsters want to go beyond it and also how we are helpless in the current system of power and uh, everything else that is there thank you so much and uh, because i am a movie fan i would like to share one anecdote about this particular movie so when it was actually offered to amir khan it was a movie uh, directed when the director went uh, rakesh shom prakash mehra was the director and when he offered it to amir khan he rejected it because if you remember in 2003 2002 there were three movies based on bhagat singh which all came out in the same year so he was completely averse to one more movie which was again of bhagat singh but later on he took that up and it actually went on to become one of the highest grossing movies of that year and actually motivated people like you so thank you thank you for attending attempting this table topic now any more person who wants to come on stage for one more topic okay uh, let me invite our timer dikshita uh bidu i think nelson has raised his hand okay i'm so sorry so nelson i i actually have a problem today that i faced so i wanted to take leave from office today because i wanted to celebrate last day which was a holiday and probably extend it to saturday sunday and monday but our manager did not give it so the topic for you is if you had to think of a reason to take leave today that is 12th of august which would be the best reason to influence your hr to hand you the leave i repeat if you had to think of a reason to take leave on 12th of august which reason will be the best to influence your hr to hand you the leave while while asking the leave to hr our superior definitely they will not accept even though there is no work also that day they will not accept but somewhat we have to take leave in that case one thing immediate immediate uh, approach same like that someone passed away in a native place they can't act, they can't ignore they can't tell that we can't give leave like that they will approve second thing we can tell that i have sick leave sick leave means mostly nobody will uh, nobody will uh, believe that whether is sick not we can tell that i am stomach, stomach upset <laughs> so that they definitely they'll give leave and second thing third thing we can tell that sir i want some favor to that our management like that i can't to go want to do like that means they will accept this is this is how we can take the leave over to the those monster thank you nelson for attempting this so i have final topic and is there a raise of hand suresh okay suresh can you switch on your video if you haven't yet okay so the topic for you is yes sir you have an option here so either you have to share a fond memory of an independence day holiday that you have experienced or you can share us a funny anecdote that you had with your sibling in your lifetime uh coming to the independence uh like i i, I was uh, in the uh, during my college days uh, i have participated uh, in the as a, in a drama so where like uh, we were uh, been the part of uh, that uh, drama as a village uh, panchayat chairman and i had a, a like it was a, some of a dramatic uh, situation so where how the village fighters they have involved in the freedom uh, freedom movements and how they bought uh, our uh, uh, un uh, unity in the villagers so i had this memory yeah that's it from my end all right thank you so much for 
giving this an attempt. Yeah, thank you so much for giving the opportunity. So I'd again like to thank all the guests and speakers who were confident and wonderful in delivering this table topics. I really enjoyed the session and I believe these sessions will actually take or help you, encourage you to take the one more step and try and attempt the prepared speeches or become a part of those masters. With this, I would like to move on to the third segment of our meeting. And I would like to invite back our general evaluator to tell us how we all did today. And also since he is the evaluator of Toastmaster Preeti, he can also provide the evaluation report too. Over to you, general evaluator, Toastmaster Mayu. Thank you so much, uh, Bidu, for inviting me again. Uh, so we, as we all, of, all know that we started on time and I will be giving my report in the manner like first uh, let me uh, take the evaluation of the speakers then i will take uh, report from the tag team then i will give my report on the meeting overall uh, so i would like to invite first of all i'll invite other evaluator so i will have some time to uh, give the evaluation of Preeti as well. So, Preeti, could you give the evaluation of others? Uh, well, can you give me some more time? I'm just on a flat because I just... Okay. Yeah. No problem. So, I would like to invite Joseph Sir's evaluator. Over to you. Uh, thank you. Am I audible? Madhvi. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. So uh, once again, good evening, everyone. So um, coming to the evaluation, um, I remember this uh, quote that I would like to convey that uh, you can speak well if your tongue, if your tongue can deliver the message of your heart. So I think Toastmasters Joseph hit a nail to the project guidelines. And uh, I feel that Toastmaster Joseph uh, uh, pretty well just gave justice to the, uh, with respect to the project like guidelines that he had. So I would be dividing my evaluation into two segments that is uh, areas of excellence and areas of improvement. To start with the positive, note and i would like to first tell about the areas of uh, areas of excellence the first thing that i liked about is the narration the way he narrated the the way toastmaster uh, joseph narrated the entire story uh, the entire thing the entire incident with ha having a positive impact of giving uh, the purpose having the purpose in this speech, I think it's a really great, uh, you know, it takes time to give such uh, speeches and writing those speeches. Of course, when we, whenever we deliver our speeches, uh, we make sure to convey something uh, in the speech, but the purpose itself in the speech, I think it's a little difficult. I think uh, in that way, uh, Toastmaster Joseph did an incredible job, conveyed his message and very apt speech title. Moving on with the areas of improvement, I feel uh, conclusion was little abrupt. So I think I feel that the uh, conclusion could have been more, uh, even more better, a refined conclusion. And second thing, I felt that uh, Toastmaster Joseph was referring to few of the sources uh, when delivering the speech. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, through the eye contact, I could, uh, I felt that uh, Toastmaster Joseph was uh, referring to the sources. Or uh, in the other words, if I have to say, uh, the things, the, the thing that he, uh, Toastmaster Joseph has to work on is the eye contact. But overall, it was a great speech, and uh, uh, looking forward to be your audience again. All the best. Uh, back to the general evaluator. Thank you so much, Madhvi, for a wonderful evaluation. And I hope uh, I, you started very well with a quote. That is a very good thing to start. And uh, the recommendation you gave to Joseph Sir are very 
interesting and i really agree with you on that those things i noted certain things i am uh, listening to joseph sir for last two year and it's been a he create his story on his life mostly so it is a good experience to listen to him for his personal story all the time and uh, what he achieved or what he has done in his life so far what i would like to also recommend joseph sir to whenever you you your speech is always good no doubt about it but while delivering your speech we certain time miss your hand gestures or gestures in overall i don't feel you do modulation in your speech like uh, our other member used to do you can also bring that modulation that way you can create more impact in your speech as well and you you as you are a uh, in the toastmaster for quite a, quite a long it's good to have a connect with audience as well while you can ask the question or start with a question or in between you uh, go for a discussion with the member so that way you can improvise your speech and overall it was a good speech and also madhvi said conclusion i also felt that it was not uh, where it started or uh, we were i was missing it so i would like to uh, you to work upon it and thank you and all the best for your future speeches now i would like to invite our second speak evaluator toastmaster deepa over to you thank you mayur good evening everybody and especially to my target speaker nitya what a fantastic speech it was i mean i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed the way you opened was just amazing now uh, to all the audience present here in the meeting um, nitya had received a feedback saying she could improve on smiling better throughout the speech in particular places to pause better and to have a great opening so nitya opening you killed it you absolutely conquered your opening it uh, had me hooked as an audience you you putting out a quote by telling choose a job you love and you'll never have to work a day in your life and then i agree but how many of us have such a job and we all i think i started thinking about uh, uh about your question that you brought out and then um i i liked i liked the structure the way you structured the uh, speech um it 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 had two characters one towards the right one towards the left so you you were positioning them so very nicely you moved towards them the uh, and then you uh, had solutions to how to you we can find happiness in our uh, um jobs and you had a very punching closing as well some of the things i would like to mention apart from them is the use of the display picture with a sad and happy picture you we can see the effort you have put into it uh, the intelligent word play by telling enjoy do you enjoy or you, do you endure is it love or is it compulsion omnipresent brilliant word usages and um, uh, and i think i also appreciate the hand gestures when you were pointing towards the different characters that you brought in to explain your point better so well done on that so as at, at toastmasters we here to know how to go one step further what do we what can we improve on so here are my suggestions uh, nitya the first one is uh, you had a very clear purpose you wanted to share with us how we can find happiness at our work and you offered us four solutions one is decluttering our desk um preparing a list one task at a time and valuing one ourselves but i wonder how many of us remember these after a long time so if you could maybe bring up with a short abbreviation maybe d love is something that i came up so that uh, okay what was d what was l we can easily recollect and we can take your speech further for many other more days and the other one is when you mentioned that uh, when you supported uh, you gave the solutions and you supported them with some statements which made very good sense at the same time you mentioned according to a research um uh, one task we can do only one task at a time so if you could provide the source of that research we can also quote when we have to speak with others so that said great speech good opening uh, um, pausing i think you paused for the rhetorical questions so objectives are met um i wish you good luck for the next speech you it, you were absolutely brilliant
Thank you so much, Deepa, for giving the evaluation of Nitya very well. I really like the title of her speech and really enjoyed the speech overall. It was a really connecting speech, so you could you could get attached to that and and you you are like forced to listen that speech in that way. So in a good way, okay. So that is a very good speech overall. And just I one one thing I noticed in Nitya's uh, camera setting. So uh, right now also, if you see her head is in the center, your head should be above. So try to adjust your camera setting. Then we will be able to see your uh, gesture very very well as you were using it. So all the best from my side for the upcoming speeches. Now I would like to invite our third speaker evaluator. Toastmaster Preeti, over to you. Yeah, thank you so much, Toastmaster. So firstly, uh, I would like to split the speech in the two parts, what you excelled on, the overall thing, and the challenges, like the areas where you can work on. So I really love the opening, uh, Adash. So kudos for that. So you started, the op you started the entire speech with a question. You know, that's a good way to hook the audience. So you started off a question with this question and then you, uh, you know, we were all curious to know what exactly is that this all about. So you spoke about the entire story as to, you know, the entire organ, I think you were uh, the organizing the event and how different particular areas were recovered, like the music and the presentation, the comedy, the context, the quiz, and how, what were the different parts? So very well explained, were you very well, mentioned in detail that these were the uh, you know the contents of the organizing the event and you also mentioned the areas where you know where you failed as such like you know you, you could have rehearsed and you said you did not rehearse and because of which the time management did not happen so I think the overall the way the explained was step by step was very nice uh, kudos to that but at the same time um, and you also mentioned about uh, yeah, and you also mentioned about how organ. Yeah, so that entire part, how you explained, was beautiful. But at the same time, I would what I would like, or what would I would love to hear, as I mentioned in the earlier, is the what was the experience. So as a leader, what experience of your team member actually impacted? So like a leader, what did you influence, or how did you help them climb that ladder? So you know, you mentioned that you skipped on the rehearsal. So that was something which was your area you did mention that it was not missed but then how did you help them you know as a leader your pathway is leader so as a leader we would like to understand and know that how did you help your team members grow the ladder so that is very key so that was somewhere i think missed because even your topic the also title also says climbing up the ladder so how did you help your team members climb the ladder so that was the key i i did not get that uh, in from your speech as well as uh, if I know you can sit or stand, there is no rule in that, but you know, it's preferably if you stand, it's always good. Again, as a leader, you're more authoritative when you stand and give a speech. So, you know, and we can see your body language. So because the camera was down, I couldn't really see you. I could just see your neck part. I couldn't see your body language, you know, hand gestures, your body language, and probably you could also work on your tonality. So when you're speaking, you know, you pause and then you, you know, then you say you create a curiosity, you know, and this happened. And then there was, a, and then the speech started and Deepa was not able to speak, you know, some sort of, um, uh, what do you say, um, a, a gesture, some sort of a body language and that pauses, which create a curiosity. But overall, I think I really like the way you spoke and the overall, uh, uh, this one was nice, but I think these were the areas which I would like to look into your speech. So thank you so much. And over to you, uh, Toastmaster G, um, G. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Preeti, for the evaluation. Now I would like to add on to some things towards the other's speech. He gave a very good speech. And just like uh, Preeti mentioned, if you could have a stand up same way we would be able to observe your body language and something i missed is voice modulation you were good in your flow while speaking that is good so but if you use some voice modulation that would give you if you are getting eight then you will get 10 on that if and 
it, you are also trying to connect with the audience and at last uh, i was seeing the timer so also keep track of your time as well that you don't exceed the time limit just don't don't go in that flow that suppose if you are in a competition and you forgot that you are just delivering your speech and you don't track keep track of your time but that you have to do and regarding the preeti's evaluation so i would like to thank preeti that she followed a sandwich approach first she discuss about the how you uh, how, how regular, usually one should give evaluation on a speech that uh, how one speaker is excelled in their speech or uh, how they can work upon and that is that is a sound approach everyone follows uh what also you can do is uh, to transform your evaluation you can also create like uh, pointers in your evaluation that you excel on these point 1 2 3 then you can work upon and we would like to see something uh, in from in your next speech that that's how you can also compose your evaluation and thank you for your evaluation now i would like to move thank you so much to- move towards uh, our tag team report before my evaluation and i would like to invite our timer dikshita to give her report over to you thank you, thank you toastmaster mayur uh, you guys can see my screen right yes cool so in the prepared speech section toastmaster joseph has taken exactly 7 minutes to complete his speech Toastmaster Nitya has taken seven minute twenty seconds, and Toastmaster Adarsh has taken eight minute twenty nine seconds. And in table topics, Toastmaster Yusuf has taken one minute forty five seconds. Anand has taken one minute ten seconds. Nelson has taken one minute twenty two seconds, and Toastmaster Suresh has taken forty five seconds. And coming to speech evaluations, Toastmaster Madhavi has taken two minute fifty three seconds. Toastmaster Deepa has taken three minute fifteen seconds, and Toastmaster Preeti has taken three minutes twenty seconds. So. So I see there are two disqualifications based on the timing. Toastmaster Adar and Toastmaster Suresh. So yeah, maybe this will be a learning for us to keep track of the time when we are kind of giving our speeches. Thank you. That's my report. Uh, over to you, Toastmaster Mayur. Thank you so much, Dikshita, for giving me the giving us the report. Now I would like to invite our our counter, uh, Toastmaster Nelson, to give his report. Once again. Uh... Today that uh, very less uh, cuts and uh, fillers and pauses and few um, few uh, source uh, team mar team madri uh, so few source and uh, some hours and uh, team preeti some hours and um, team mayur uh, some hours. and uh, miss uh, uh, guest anand he made some hours and uh, and and suresh few hours and and that's it overall that they are very less uh, uh, such one fillers over to that uh, evaluator thank you so much uh, nelson for the report since we don't have a grammarian for in the meeting so i will try to bring out something so that i noticed which can be improved so when whenever we are sitting in the professional setting or uh, that way we have to avoid certain words like yeah which others used in the meeting you could use yes instead of that and uh, i see uh, if if me or anybody else who are not regular and they join so we do make mistakes that happen that is okay so like i use so right now similarly certain other members use so quite a number of times i have noted i am not give, uh, giving your name so you can work upon that and overall it was a good meeting from the start to end and i didn't find uh, I, i would like to say to the nitin our sergeant at arm if he could stand up uh, he could uh, stand up and give his uh, give his energy to the meeting that way a very good start could happen for the meeting 
and others you as a presiding officer for the first time congratulations to you and you did a wonderful job while delivering your presentation Early, you can also use um, uh, phrases, something like that. So we will have certain good uh, English uh, to listen, right? And as a Madhvi, while uh, uh, giving the evaluation details, that time you used a uh, couple of hours and uh, Deepa as well while in the first time. So, which could be avoided and Joseph, sir, uh, I told you in your evaluation what you can do, Nitya and others as well. And Table Topic Master, I really enjoyed listening to Yusuf very well and Anand, Nelson, Nelson, you tried very well. Shuresh, you gave a, uh, a good uh, speech on that particular topic. I would recommend uh, Bidu. So whenever you try to take up the table topic master role, particularly if you go and check your table topic in the chat box, what you are doing is just repeating certain words in the in that table topic. Now I if I if uh, I have to ask a member to uh, give a topic like which patriotic movie you remember or you would like to discuss about that way you can craft in a one liner just five to seven words that's it so it will be easy to understand as well and uh, it goes very well so try to do those table topics in one line and with that i would like to conclude my speech and evaluation and all the best so that we can implement these things in the next meeting onward and wish you all the best for your upcoming speeches and roles. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you so much, General Evaluator Toastmaster Mayur. I think some of the feedbacks are really valuable, especially for me and for the others that you have given. Thank you, everyone, especially Toastmaster Madhuri, Toastmaster Preeti, Toastmaster Nitya, and Toastmaster Dikshita for visiting our club. Anand, Yusuf, Suresh, hoping to see you again and again in our club. I hope you all had a delightful time. It is time for me to sign off, but before that, I would like to take a picture of all of you. So I would request everyone to open your videos if you have not opened and probably show us, show me some of, some of your best symbols. You can put up smileys, you can put up your smiley, smiling faces. All right, I'll give you three more seconds. So three, two, one. All right, I have taken. Thank you so much for your patience. With this, I would like to invite back Toastmaster Adash, who will take us to the voting of our, of our meeting. And since also he is the presiding officer, he would hand, give his closing thoughts as well. Over to you, Toastmaster Adash. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Bidhu. That was quite a session, if I'm not wrong. There was quite a session. The last one and a half has feel like one and a half days in some ways for me because there was just so much content in all the speeches and all the table topics. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for having stepped up and played your role to the best of your abilities. It was truly amazing. I mean, our timer, Toastmaster Dikshita, our evaluator, Toastmaster Preeti, Yusuf Chandra, our accountant, Nelson, who is joining in. He is a new member of the club. And then we have uh, our guest, Anand. We have so many people from within the room. We also have Suresh. Thank you very much for joining us at Speech Weavers. Now, before I go ahead and ask you for your feedback, I'm going to go ahead and post a link in the chat. And this link is the voting link. All you have to do is click on that link. 
and go and vote for your favorite speakers, evaluators, and table topic speakers. And I'd be happy to unveil those winners before I end my address as the president. Now it's time for us to get some feedback from all our guests. We have a lot of guests today, so I'd like to go ahead and ask Anand to share his feedback or his thoughts on what he thought about the meeting today. Anand, the stage is yours. Thank you, Adarsh. Uh, so uh, this is my first time at a Toastmaster meeting. I really enjoyed the way that it was organized. The agenda was uh, very helpful in understanding what to expect. And the introductions were really good in understanding what the program is going to be today. And the speeches were very well done. And there was uh, the evaluations were extremely helpful in understanding what needs to be improved uh, from a speech perspective. Uh, thank you so much for having me today. <laughs> Thank you very much, Anand. We cannot wait to introduce you as Toastmaster Anand. We'd love to see you in our upcoming meetings. It was an absolute pleasure to have you. And now I'm going to go ahead and ask our Toastmaster Yusuf Chandra to share his feedback of what he thought about our meeting, our 677th meeting. Thank you very much. Well, I always love coming to this club. This is a very good meeting, and we have got good speakers evaluator and everything was there and even the joke master very rare in any clubs in the world we have got the joke master but here we have it got. thank you very much back to you thank you very much our toastmaster yusuf chandra this is not the first time i've seen you at our club and i'm pretty confident that this won't be the last time i see you around as well thank you very much for joining us we look forward to seeing you in our coming meetings and to add to what you said, yes, Toastmaster Joseph is one of those highly enthusiastic people that always love to take up the joke master role. I've seen so many people at the club refrain from picking it up. I think I've offered the role myself to a bunch of people from within the district. And that is one role that they always refrain from because they cannot tell a joke. And it's not about the fact that they cannot tell a joke. It's just the fact that they're not willing to face the audience. They aren't willing to face the aftermath of what could possibly happen after you deliver the joke. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Joseph. That was brilliant. And I'd like to hear uh, uh, Suresh's feedback. Suresh, would you be able to share your thoughts on what you thought about our meeting today? Yes, uh, we're not able to hear you actually. I think you're not audible. I think you might probably have to uh, try. Yeah, we're still not able to hear you. Suresh, are you uh, able to hear us? All right then, sure. Uh, I think you can try fixing your audio, but meanwhile, I'll just go ahead and uh, call on uh, Toastmaster Nelson. Toastmaster Nelson, I'd like you to share your thoughts and what you thought about our meeting today. Nelson, are you there? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, it's a very um, uh, organized meeting that uh, there is a lot of um, thing to learn and each and every role from uh, we can learn from that starting from yesterday to at the end of the present um, uh, speech. Everything is a learning, small, small things also we can learn we continuously how to. I last uh, six, eight, eight months I missed that uh, this of me so now i eager to go forward and learn so much everything in that meeting the best way to communicate um, learn communication is the only way towards master the speech viewers i helped me a lot so again i have to utilize this opportunity thanks for everyone Thank you very much, Toastmaster Nelson. It is an absolute pleasure to have you back at the club. And this is the best platform for one to improve their public speaking and leadership. We are more than delighted to have you and we cannot wait to see you take up more and more roles. Maybe next week you can probably deliver your next speech. I'm not sure. Regardless, that is for the VPE and yourself to decide. We'd be happy to see you in your coming meeting. And now I'm going to go ahead and announce the winners. But yes, I'll come back to Suresh. Suresh, you will have your opportunity of talking to the audience. But we have around eight votes right now. And I'm going to quickly go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. It's nine right now. I'm going to stop the responses. And I'm going to announce the winners to all of you. And I'd like all of you to please close attention because this is a part of the meeting that things get really exciting. The best supporting role taker for today's meeting was Without a shadow of a doubt, unequivocally, it was Toastmaster Joseph, our joke master for today's meeting. Congratulations, round of applause. 
to our Job Master, Toastmaster Joseph. The best role taker for today's meeting, it is split between two people. I'm not sure if anybody can take a guess here, but I'll go ahead and announce the winners regardless. The winners are our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Bidu. Congratulations, Bidu. You were really, really good, to be honest. I think you had your hands tied. You were exceptionally good in the way you delivered your Demori speech. And then we have our general evaluator, Toastmaster Mayu. Congratulations to both Mayu and Toastmaster Bidu on being the best role taker for today's meeting. The best authority role taker for today's meeting was our vibrant timer, Toastmaster Deekshita. Toastmaster Deekshita, thank you for joining us at Speech Weavers. You were the best authority role taker in today's meeting. This best speaker of today's meeting, it's actually split between, not split, but rather I would say it is a bit tight. The winner was Toastmaster Nitya. Toastmaster Nitya, thank you very much for joining us at Speech Weavers. It was a very engaging speech. The best evaluator for today's meeting was Toastmaster, let me see, I'm not sure if she's in the room. Yes, it was Toastmaster PP. Thank you, for, thank you very much for joining us from the Gabby. You were brilliant in your evaluation. And then last but not the least, the best table topic speaker for today's meeting was Toastmaster Yusuf Chandra. Thank you very much for joining us at Speech Weavers. It was truly brilliant to have you around. Overall, the meeting was great. And I'd like all of you to, uh, take this as a form of uh, appreciation and come back and enjoy the meetings even more. And that, now before I adjourn the meeting, I'd like to hear from uh, Suresh because he had the opportunity of speaking, but unfortunately he had some audio disruptions. Suresh, you're free to go ahead and share your thoughts. Sir. Yeah, uh, now can you hear me? Uh, toast was the others. Yes, you're audible now. You can go ahead. <laughs> Thanks so much for giving me an opportunity. And really, I, I uh, got so inspired by uh, the Toastmasters. Um, first of all, uh, the Bindu, uh, Toastmaster Bindu, uh, his presentation skills I impressed. And the second one was uh, telling a, a kind of a presenting a, the narration or a story or, a, or the kind of giving a pitch by Nitya. So I really impressed and I noted down uh, four, four points, so which is uh, really helpful for the day-to-day -day my work life also. And uh, by real, I learned uh, so much today. And uh, again, the confidence level by the, 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 uh, the Toastmasters, I impressed. So I, I really, I would like to join uh, each sessions and uh, each presentation, which whenever it's going on. So by today, I, I got a 15 minutes free time so from the office work, I thought just to go ahead for 15 minutes, then it's taken me till one and a half hours. So really it's uh, uh, session was so impressive and I liked it. So now in every uh, week, or, uh, in, whenever the sessions are there, I'll block my calendar and I attend. I would like to be part of this. Thank you so much Toastmasters. Thank you very much, Suresh. It was an enlightening feedback. All you have to do now is go to the chat and type your contact number so that we can contact you soon after the meeting. Thank you very much for that. And before I adjourn the meeting, I have actually received a few requests on the chat uh, for me to call our very own DTM Millen, who looks like the president of the country, to be very honest. DTM Millen, I'd like you to share your thoughts on the meeting because we'd love to hear from you. Today, you didn't take up a role, so... We have to hear. We have to hear your voice. What happens? So my first thanks to Bidu and Nils. Mayur, I am supposed to be the general evaluator. Yesterday suddenly my professional callings came and they said no, we have to have a meeting sharp at five o'clock. So I had to rush. And thanks Mayur for stepping in for me and doing a fantastic job and winning. So kudos to you and kudos to Bidu for accommodating. He did not get angry with me. He said, okay, sir, it's okay, fine, fine, fine. And thank you. I can see a lot of new faces over here. Dikshita, Priti, Nitya, and of course, my old friend Nelson, who has been with our club from the day I joined the speech we were then Suresh, Anand, and of course, our rock star Deepa and Joseph, sir, Adarsh, and thank you all. And wishing you happy Independence Day in advance. Thank you very much, DTM Mendon. And yes, on the note of the Independence Day, I'd like all of you to know we have a session coming up on the 14th of August, this Sunday at 11 o'clock in the morning. It's called the Open Mic, and the link was posted.
posted on the chat earlier today. But feel free to go ahead and register yourself. And that will be it from my desk as your presiding officer this evening. I'd like to adjourn meeting number 677.